Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another Unreal 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to be taking you through how to set up your UDIMs for Unreal materials and textures uh, with a little bit of substance in here, uh, just so you can see the whole workflow starting from Maya or it wouldn't matter if you're going from Max or on Blender for that matter. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I covered a couple of pitfalls here. A colleague of mine was going through this at the, uh, recently and they were struggling with a couple of little steps that were tripping them up. So I've got a model here uh, that I created. It's just a triangulated mesh and it is just in its uh, high poly state I haven't had time to do a reprojection or anything like that so you have to forgive me uh, on the left hand side there you'll see my UVs and they're terrible um, so don't do your UVs like this uh, but I've just done this so we've got uh, four UDIM islands so we can use this as part of the workflow and each of those UDIM islands are just going to be indicative of a different material uh, type or PBR in this case so what we need to do here first of all is if we're going to do this in substance what we really want to make sure is that we're not using texture sets and texture set is when you use Maya and you assign a material to each a different piece and that will be baked into your export uh, when you do this in combination with uh, uh, UDIMS it tends to not like it in Unreal, there, in Unreal there might be a, a way around this but my preference is to just use UDIM, uh, UDIM atlases for masking anyway so this is probably simpler anyway. So those are all the materials that were created with the FBX when I brought it in uh, for each individual element. I'm just going to go ahead and delete those and everything should have no material. So I just reselect everything there and um, I'll just give it the default Lambert. So that would bring it back to looking like this. All right, so we will export this now uh, just in its current state. File, export selection. Um, I'm just going to chuck it on the desktop. And this is a TS-808 and I'll just say export. Uh, I'm exporting this as an FBX. Uh, sometimes you might get a material error uh, if you're doing that. If that's the case, try an OBJ. I'm not sure what causes the error exactly. It's something to do with the materials being assigned here in Maya. Um, so OBJ will work the exact same way. So we'll just export that and then we'll open Substance. Alrighty, so here in Substance we're going to File, New and we are going to set the template to Unreal, Unreal 4, Unreal 5 is the same thing. Select your file and that's going to be this one here, we'll open it up and we want to ensure that Use UV Tile Workflow is set to On and uh, you can set your document resolution, it's going to be 2K per tile so that's fine and we'll click OK. Okay, so that is the pedal there and that is all the terrible UVs. So what we'll quickly do here is we'll just assign a different material to each element. So you can see that. So I'm simply going to drag a material onto the mesh and then I'm going to click this button here and disable the UDIM tiles that I don't want. And then we can continue to edit. I'm just going to make this green because that's the color of this pedal. All right, and then we're going to do the same thing for the uh, knobs. Uh, one for the metal pieces and uh, one for the light there on the top. Okay, so that is our base colors done. We will do our export now. So file, export textures. I'm just going to export that to uh, my desktop. We want to make sure that we've got the output template set to Unreal Engine. Select your file format, PNG is fine. Um, you'll see here on the left, if you have only got one texture set, it should only be one there. So ensure that is the case. And just to show you, the Unreal Engine 4 has a packed uh, template. So what that means is your roughness, your metallic, and your ambient occlusion are going to be packed into one texture, and they're going to be uh, written to the RG and B channel respectively. And I'll explain what that means once we're in Unreal if you haven't tried to do this before. So we'll export that. And we'll jump into Unreal. And hey, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on, otherwise you may be missing out on the many tutorials that we're releasing for free each week here on YouTube. Alrighty, let's bring in our mesh and textures. I'm just going to create a new folder for this one, and it's going to be TS-808, and we will uh, import the file just by dragging it in there. Um, you can build Nanite if you wanted to, if you had a high, very high resolution mesh. I'm going to import the normals. Now this is going to show me if I've actually got the scale correct and if you've got holes in your mesh on the import this is because the scale is too small uh, between Maya and Unreal. So we'll import it and we'll see what happens. 
And before we import our textures, we actually need to enable virtual textures, which is um, how it's going to read these packed instances of textures. So we'll go to edit, we'll go to project settings, and we'll go to virtual. And we want to en enable virtual texture support right here. Um, and then also enable virtual texture on texture import. Uh, this will detect uh, UDIMs and pack them appropriately. Now mine's already on. So if you haven't got it enabled, you need to click those and it will ask you to restart Unreal, which you'll need to do. After you do the restart, you will probably need to rebuild some shaders. So just be prepared for that. So let's bring our textures in. Okay, so you can see I've only uh, got three different textures here. So that's combined all of those UDIMs into the um, one packed instance of each individual one. And um, if it hasn't happened for you, you can right click on the texture and you can select uh, convert to virtual texture. Now here, uh, obviously it says convert to regular texture. Um, if yours was um, a regular texture, you'd have the opposite op uh, option. So again, just right click and convert to virtual texture. Once you do that, it will convert and pack those and you should see a little VT there. So we've got one level here. There we go and I've got this Lambert uh, which I probably will just rename to TS808 underscore material all right now I'm going to double click into that and we can delete this and we want to bring our textures in so we'll start with the base color this is simple we we'll select that there drop it in and connect it to the base color next the normals very easy drag it in and connect that to the normals. Now another place to check that the virtual textures are working is under sampler type. Just check virtual is there. Same for here, should say virtual color. And finally is going to be the occlusion, roughness and the metallic. So the occlusion is written to the R channel. Um, so we're going to run the R into the ambient occlusion the G into the roughness and the B into the metallic. And in case you're having uh, trouble remembering that, because it's ridiculous, um, you'll see occlusion, roughness, and then the next word is uh, metallic. You can see it there on the, the um, overlay. Uh, that is the order in RGB. So occlusion is R, roughness is G, and metallic is B. So once that is hooked up, we can hit save. And then you'll see there that we've got that uh, texture all plugged in nicely and that green plastic texture is much too shiny. All right one additional note if you are noticing that your specularity is too high uh, which it is in this one I can see that those knobs are significantly less specular in the substance version and that is because it is exporting a linearized version of their texture. So if that is the case what we can do is go back into our material and we'll go to that texture sample and we'll just remove that for now. Minimize that. Go back to our textures, open up our textures. This is our compound texture with the ambient occlusion, the metallic and roughness. And on the right here, we just want to uncheck sRGB. Then you can save that, close it. All right, and then we go back into the material, we'll drag that uh, combined texture back in and then R goes to your ambient occlusion G goes to your roughness and B goes to your metallic. We'll apply that. And you can see now that that looks a little bit more like what we're looking for. So thanks to our patrons this month um, that continue to provide support to the channel and keep the lights on and bring you tutorials such as this one. You guys will get the TS-808 or not TS-808, uh, undescribed pedal in your assets this month. So uh, make sure you check that one out. Link in the description if you'd like to join. Five bucks a month will get you in the door and continue to provide us with the support that makes it um, so we can continue to bring out tutorials just like this one and the many others that we do each month. So thank you to our patrons and we'll see you in the next tutorial. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, make sure you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week, just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord, and more by clicking the link below.